I didn't really plan on recording much about this car, but I think I should. Why not introduce you guys to the new Richard Mobile? Um, so yeah, it's a new daily. It's a 1998. Here, I'll shut the hood so you can see what it looks like. 98 Mercedes C230. It's pretty cool. It's my first uh, European car. It was in way worse condition when I got it. This will kind of give you an idea. Sorry. <clears throat> this will kind of give you an idea of how the previous owner chose to fix things. Um, yeah, it was very, very dirty. Everywhere. <laughs> Had grime. I'm still cleaning it up, but it's a lot better than it was before. Um, I'll throw up some videos and pictures as I go of the uh, different areas that were dirty. And take some before and after shots. So yeah, I've been cleaning it up, getting it straightened out, but there's a problem. You guys know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. That's the radiator leaking. So, there's a hairline crack on the side of the plastic. Can't really see it because it's tucked in there, but the size of these radiators are plastic. So, got hot, leaked the water out. So, I actually took it out about a week ago and patched it with JBL and it held up for a few days but I don't think my patch job was that good and it's leaking again so instead of trying to fix it again I think it's best I go to the junkyard and get one so oh so anyways that's the plan so I can't use my brother's car because he has to go somewhere as you can see my stepdad's out of here and my mom's not here so unfortunately, I gotta risk it. There we go. So yeah, I can top it up. They'll get me at least 15 to 20 minutes away before I feel uncomfortable. So the junkyard is not that far. So I'm gonna fill it up and then refill my gallon bottle and then get on out of here. So got some good news. I'm on the way to the uh, junkyard and I get a phone call from Arnold, who the gen who he's, <clears throat> sorry, the gentleman that got me the parts that I've been missing. And I had called him earlier this morning asking to see if he had remembered to get the radiator for me and I didn't get a, an answer. So that's why I figured I need to go to the junkyard and get this done because the leak is really bad. But he called me back literally while I'm on the way and he's like, I got your radiator. So I turned around, made a quick stop, and I'm now headed to uh, get the radiator from him. See, I'm already getting a little cooling warning light, but I'm here. There he is, my Mercedes guardian angel. Arnold. I, I, that's what I thought for a second, but then since I come and I don't see you here, <laughs> I start thinking differently. <laughs> yeah, he was waiting on me. But I had to stop at the bank, put more water in it, because it's running out. Oh. Yeah, this is Arnold. He's a Mercedes guru. Good to see you <laughs> again, brother. Did. Guess who I met? Your buddy. Um, Ultimate Collector? Yeah. That's my boy. Shot. He, it's, he's, he's one of the guys because of all the Mercedes I've shot for him that kind of you know probably when I saw this he's definitely a big influence yeah man I can tell big you. time big he's cool time. people yeah I gotta I gotta go down and that's your baby right there boom is that me I left, yeah I yes. left your boat right there perfect mm. perfect good great condition it's right. ready to roll no more leak no more freaking leaking out oh. or anything it's, look it's making a puddle <laughs> hey you know what i wish i knew you i just celebrated my birthday 
25th birthday, my, I mean, 25th? 25th of October, no. Oh, I was just saying, hey, you're young, 25. No, I'm 61. I oh. just celebrated Happy it. birthday, brother. Thank you. And I'm looking for a photographer, and I couldn't get one. Could you imagine? And everybody start taking pictures. Bro, I'd be your own. guy. And That's you what I do. It, well, now you have my number. Yeah, we could... I got your number for real. Right? <laughs> Damn. Look. So he has oh, let me show everything. You, the you might not be taking them now, but. Um, oh. hey, Damn, you really remember all that? Oh. I asked this man to get me parts. Look at all the parts, bro. Right okay. there. Oh yes, they're a lot cleaner on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Yours is all yellow. Yeah, so yeah, have yeah, the yeah. pair. All so right. So have these two for whenever you're ready. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. And um, what um, else we got? So we the toe covers. The little uh, on the side skirt. Yes, I gotta get those for you. I know. It seems like on my car they're hard to find. Yes. Everyone seems to steal them for some reason. Yeah, for some reason. Freaking well, annoying. I got man. Them, though. I got parts, them. parts, so parts, parts. I see them. So you need yeah, those that. The rad. The lights. Ooh, and, and then the mirrors. The mirrors. And look, I kind of fixed it. You'd oh, be so proud of me. me oh, and this. Oh, I got that. Where that you is. You did? I got that. See, you got everything. Right, Radiator is there. Boom. Yeah, he's loving it. He's seeing all the clean. Because when I brought it to him, it was dirty. He saw it a little bit dirty inside. So. But yeah, man. So appreciate you, brother. Man, man. I appreciate you, bro. So, hey, all right. So, got it home. Didn't overheat. Uh, it's been sitting down here for like an hour now. Still feels warm. That's gonna be fun to deal with. But uh, I got stuff to do, so I need to swap this radiator. And you know what's cool about these? They have this hood attachment thing, or on the hinge. Come down a little bit more. Right, you pull this out. Push it up. On this side, do the same thing. And then the hood locks <laughs> all the way up. So it gives you more room. Pretty sick. Okay, so to get the rat out, these four bolts, I gotta pull these clips. I did it once before, so I can do this really smoothly in one shot not one shot but in one video without much hiccups that's why i have the table so yeah i'm gonna pull these four bolts pull the hoses uh the trans cooler i have to pull that pull the fan out pull the clip there and uh yeah once i pull it's two of them so once the fan comes out you'll be able to see it once i pull those out radiator comes out Putting you on it. So I've been looking at GoPros because I'm struggling using my phone. <laughs> I need to be able to post on Instagram sometimes while I'm doing this. Pop these all off. 10 millimeters. I just realized it would be better to actually take the fan out first before removing this because this is holding the radiator down. And the fan is kind of attached to the radiator, so I get these pins out. There we go. This one. Two. So this. And then, so there's the uh, two cooling lines. So I'm gonna pull that one there, and pull that one over there. Look how gross. Yeah, this will give you an idea of how dirty this car is. Look at all that. You know what, I think I should hit this with the power wash. Yeah, probably a good idea to kind of see if I can get some more cleaning done. I almost forgot, there's one right here, so it's five, not four. That should come up just like this. Just flop it over here, because the uh, hood latch is still attached. All right, now we can 
start to work on the radio. So it's held on by that. So the only thing that you have to do from here is pull the hoses and it comes right out. So it's three hoses. You have this one here, that one, and this one. And that's it. Oh, and then you have to pull these two because this, uh, this is the condenser. The radiator is behind here. So once you pull this, it comes out. Pull these holes really quick. Say hi, Grandma. <laughs> She's hanging out with me while I work on the car. Oh, oh, come on. There it goes. No, I did not pull it by hand. <laughs> Just had to use two hands. You gotta hold this side and then pull that side. Oh, let's prop this up so it doesn't leak. Now it should come out. Three hooked on. What the heck? It's getting stuck on something. All right, so with the radiator out, I have a little bit more room to see some of the uh, dirty areas here. And I figured now is a good time to kind of get up in there and uh, do some more cleaning. Give you guys a, you know, get to see an idea of what I've been dealing with with this car. It's absolutely filthy. So, and I hate working on cars and getting my thing is dirty. Oh, what's that? Is clean all over there is nice and clean down there is clean so everything looks a lot better so time to put the new radiator in and button this thing back up yeah forgot to show you guys the damage so there it is hairline crack that goes all the way down right and you can see my uh JB weld that I try to use but yeah it looks like it oozed from behind and just leak, continue to leak out so already cleaned up the radiator decided to give everything a quick uh, scrub down no point in putting it out in there dirty when it's out Mercedes pocket. That's the goal. Alright, so hardware is attached. It's now time to slide this bad boy back in. Here, 
Okay, everything's all buttoned up, tightened up. Time to put the fan in. Probably gonna struggle with this again with one of them. Oh, never mind. Sits right on in. Very good. Get some position, you get the clips. Okay, that was a little tough to get on for some reason. I'm guessing this radiator is a slightly different shape. Cooling time. All right, it's filled up. I don't know if I overfilled it or not, but I filled it high because there's always, you can tell there's probably an air bubble. So I'm gonna turn it on, let it circulate, and should be good to go. Don't have my key. Alrighty, so I did some more power washing. This is all brown. I cleaned everything, cleaned that. So it's been running. Just letting it get up to operating temp so that thermostat can open and work out some of those bubbles and check for any leaks. You know, make sure my hoses are tight, all that. But yeah. No more drippy drop. So she's good to go. Well, at least for now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so big shout out to Arnold for getting that part for me. And yeah, I just realized today's the last day of 2021. So happy new year to everyone. Uh, thank you for everything over the years. And hopefully I can keep a uh, consistent flow with these videos now. Especially now I have multiple projects. I have no excuse for content. So until next year, peace.